Well, praise God. Praise God. Morning, Calvary. Good morning. My mother blew the doors off last weekend at Women's Day. I'm not going to try and top that. No way. Good job, Mommy. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right, let's get right into the word this morning. My text today is Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Of course. Shush now. Just listen. Now before I get started, I need to talk about something. As many of you know, a family member of ours is currently in jail awaiting sentencing for a number of sexual crimes against young women. I hate talking about this in church. But it's real. And even after he's sentenced and sent to jail, the fallout from his actions and from my family's reactions, including mine, will continue to haunt us for a long time. And it should. And there will be a time to talk about all of it. And there should be. But right now, this morning, I'd like to take a moment of silence for all the women that he did abuse. The ones who are here, the ones who came forward, the ones who haven't, the ones who are living, and the ones who, like my sister Faith, have passed on. A moment of silence for anyone here who is dealing with similar abuse, and a moment of silence for anyone who knows that something awful is happening to something close to them, and they're not saying anything. There's nothing I or anyone else can say that can explain it adequately, honor it adequately, grieve it adequately. Oh, but God. Yes. But God. Yes. God is here. Could you look at me right now? Even in the silence, God is here. So let's take our moment of silence this morning. And when we're done, let us promise ourselves and all the abused around us, all those victims, that we will never be silent again. Amen. The silence ends today. Yeah. Would you bow with me?